Tomorrow marks one month since the shooting outside of a shopping center on McKnight Road. A suspect was killed and a state drug agent was wounded in the shootout. And four weeks after it happened, there's still a lot of unanswered questions about what led up to the shooting. KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan got some answers today, along with frustration from the DA. The noonday shootout at this busy McKnight Road shopping plaza left a drug suspect dead and an agent from the Office of the Attorney General badly wounded. A month later, District Attorney Steven Zapala is still raising questions about the time and the place. Obviously, you got a, an active retail center. Uh, at that time of day, you've got a daycare center and you're proximate to a highway that's four lanes. If you want to take the guy off, get SWAT, take him off at his house. You don't have to put people at risk. At a press conference today, Zapala released new information about the incident. First, that a gunshot shattered the state agent's elbow and that his future in law enforcement is now in doubt. He also said the deceased suspect, Omari Thompson, was being investigated for selling lethal drugs to a person who had died. Zapala said both of those facts make him question the urgency of making that arrest on McKnight. Explain to me why it went down the way it did. Explain to me why you're there. Um, I haven't received that explanation yet. We've stepped away from that, and we'll let them conclude their investigation and make their findings public whenever they're ready. The officer involved shooting is under investigation by Zapala and the county police. Earlier this month, Attorney General Josh Shapiro indicated he would await its findings but defended his agent's involvement in this undercover buy, saying drug dealers often dictate where these meetups occur. And we go through great pains to not only keep our agents safe and officers safe, but to keep the public safe. But while Zapala said it's clear that Thompson fired first and that the officer involved shooting was justified, he did not hide his displeasure about the way it went down. You want to come into our county and, and somebody loses their life, that's a big deal. Andy Sheehan, KDK News.